Hey, what is up everyone? I am Fizzy Soda, and today I am on Heroes of the Storm, and I wanted to make a video talking about the current state of Valera, give you my thoughts, and also go over what I consider the best build on her, and I think statistically it is the best build on her. So first off, she has been out for about two weeks now, and she is awesome, great, stealth character, love it, but the problem with her is she is not a 100 to 0 character. She can't burst someone down like crazy. She has the potential to if you build into it, and she can definitely do that to squishies, but against tanks and a lot of the characters, she really can't do too much damage. She can kind of poke, deal some damage, and then get out of there because she can activate stealth whenever she needs to, but she's just not that strong. She has great engage, and she has great finishing, but she is definitely not a just go all in and sit there and be able to take out a whole enemy team by herself. She is not as powerful as an Illidan comp. She just doesn't have that potential as is. I do think she needs some tweaking and I hope soon Blizzard releases a patch that buffs her a little bit. Uh, currently I think her cheap shot, the stun is a little too long. I think it's like a 1.5 second stun. I, I would like that to be reduced to around like a 1 second. It, it, I think it needs to get nerfed. It's a little too long in my opinion. And then she has a talent called Blind at level 13 which allows after that cheap shot the target is blinded for 2.5 seconds and I also think that is a little too long maybe maybe nerf that a little bit just because against an auto attacker it it's really strong but other than that nerf I think she needs a buff on her damage her auto attack maybe on some of her abilities just a slight buff to give her that damage she needs now she can pump out damage but for most people she's just not as good and if you reveal her she's useless she kind of just has to back out she can't really fight because without her stealth she loses half of her kit literally because she has different abilities while in stealth so it's kind of give and take with her and I do hope we see a patch soon addressing her uh, she's still really fun to play but at the moment she's more of a quick match hero and not really in the competitive scene and I think until we get a patch that's going to change her I think she's going to stay as a just kind of random pick every now and then to have fun but not really a hero that we're going to be seeing a lot of competitive play with so to get into the builds, uh, the first build is the main build that I do. I'm just going to touch on it. I'll go more in depth in a second, and I'm going to touch on some other builds as well. But the build that I prefer and the one that I've had the most success with is incredible, and it, it focuses a lot on energy regeneration. And with that, you're able to pump out more damage consistently and then also just survive if you need to. So before I go in depth with the build that I like the best, I'm going to touch on another few builds here. The first other build is one that focuses a lot on coming out of stealth, dealing a quick amount of damage, and getting those combo points, but after you spend your combo points and you deal that quick damage, you really have nowhere to go and you don't have much damage after that since you'll have no energy and you'll have your you'll be on cooldown and it's just you're pretty much useless after that. So I don't like the build where you take subtlety and initiative and you go that route. It's not my favorite. Uh, another build that seems to be very popular is a Q build. If you want to follow your target and just keep dashing at them and consistently hitting very strong Qs with a reduced energy cost, that one's really fun and I enjoy it, but as as I've been saying, it's just not as consistent energy and damage wise as everything else is. The next build is going to be the Garot build where you basically just take all the talents going towards your E when you're in stealth, your Garot, the silence. And it's a pretty fun build but it doesn't pick up until 16 when you can continually reset the dot and potentially the silence. And it's, it's super fun to play with, and it does a lot of damage if you're consistently hitting your target. But the problem with it, again, is you have no energy regeneration, basically. And you're focusing everything on that one attack and then auto attacks afterwards. So it's, it's just not as consistent, in my opinion. But it is a super fun build to play and just kind of silence and have a consistent dot on someone. You can do a lot of damage also to like bosses and camps and it helps with that since your auto attacks will also deal more damage on top of consistently resetting that dot damage. Now the last build before I go in depth with my favorite build is gonna be the piano build. With this one you'll have four extra keys you can press being crippling poison, wound poison, thistle tea, and then also cold blood at level 20. With this build, you really have no energy regeneration and you have to wait on cooldowns and it's gonna be pretty tough, but with Thistle T at 16, you'll get that boost of 100 extra energy right away. So you can get out a pretty big strike with your cold blood 
and it deals a lot of damage, but it's really slow and the spike is late game. So early game, mid game, you're not going to really do much damage. You're going to get maybe an ability or two on someone and then you're kind of just sitting there useless. So now let's jump into the build that I consider to be the best build and the most consistent and fun build that there is currently for Valera. Now at level one, you choose Vigor. Vigor is going to be awesome because it passively gives you two extra energy per second and then also if you collect 20 region globes you gain an extra 20 energy so your max energy will be 120 which is going to be very very helpful later and i think i usually get the quest done around level 12 maybe sooner maybe later it just depends on the map depends on the game at level four i like to choose relentless strikes since this will make it so it reduces your energy cost on your sinister strike by 10 so it's only going to be 20 energy to cast it which will be huge on top of the boost that you're getting at level one at level seven i typically choose fatal finesse since this is going to increase the damage of your w and then also after you hit 20 heroes with it it's going to reduce the energy cost by 20 which will again make this only cost 20 energy which is huge to get your combos off at level 10 basically every time i will choose smoke bomb just because of the flat out 25 armor against basic attacks and then spells that's powerful and then also it lasts for five seconds and you cannot be revealed while in your smoke bomb which is very good and it's only a 60 second cooldown so this is great for engage fighting people picking people off or even sometimes getting away cloak of shadows is okay every now and then if the enemy team is very spell heavy mage comp something like that but smoke bomb is typically the way to go at level 10 at 13 I usually choose elusiveness because the 10% extra movement speed basically makes you so you have an instant mount with your vanish. You'll have 20% movement speed which is the same as hopping on your mount but without a cast time which is incredibly powerful. You can go super fast and catch up to enemies and be able to get your combos off because you're going the same speed as them if they're mounted or faster if they're not mounted. At 16 I choose thistle tea. This is going to be incredible with all the reductions in energy costs and then also with your increased energy, you can get out a bunch of combos, a bunch of abilities, especially your Q, since it's going to have a one second cooldown because you'll be hitting people with it. You'll get a ton of combos out and then when you're low on energy, pop your Thistle T and get back in the fight. So you have a consistent energy with Thistle T. At level 20, Night Slayer is going to be the safest pick here because it's going to reduce your vanish by three seconds, allowing you to pop into stealth and then use your either cheap shot garo whatever you want to use there and keep comboing but you can also go cold blood if you really need that extra damage she can burst out a good 1300 damage at level 20 and that is just insane so that is the build i usually go with her it's very safe you're gonna have plenty of energy to keep using your abilities and it's not gonna limit you in cooldowns it's not gonna limit you in energy and it's just the safest all around best build with her in my opinion and statistically most people have won using that build so that's all i have for today guys if you enjoyed the clips if you enjoyed the build and you're liking valera but you also want to see a little change with her please let me know in the comments drop a like on this video but thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys next time